Hi, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about a hidden CAD tool in Blender. Do you know that Blender has a few tools and features that are turned off by default? And one of them is a CAD tool. Yes, a CAD tool, but what can we do with this CAD tool? Let me show you first where it is and I will explain why is this uh, why this is a big deal for anyone using Blender. And by the way, I'm using Blender 4.0 Alpha, so this tool is also available in Blender. If you go into your add-ons and search for CAD, you will see that we have a tool here called Tiny CAD Mesh Tools. And if I enable this, you will see when you go into edit mode and right click on the context menu, you see at the top an option for tiny CAD. There are a few options there for the, candy, uh, for the tiny CAD, but one of the killer aspects of one of the killer features of tiny CAD is the ability to find intersections. This is something that is quite unique for this add-on and it's something that can help a lot, for instance, when you are working with a uh, drawing uh, walls. Let me show you an example. Let's say I have this plane here and I will turn this into a wall. I won't be using any dimensions or inputs. Let's just move it there. This is supposed to be a wall. Again, not using any dimensions, but at this point, I want to start working with uh, an angle wall and to keep it with the same thickness, I will copy, rotate and move it here. Let's say I need this wall to be in this position. Now, one thing that TinyCAD is uh, incredible is to find these intersections here. For instance, I need to find this intersection between these two edges. If you have in Blender orthographic intersections, the snapping will be just fine for you to work and you will be able to find intersections quite easily because you will be able to, for instance, copy one of your vertex, lock it into the X axis and transform them to place an axis, uh, an object there. But I don't have a way to do this here. If I try to do the same with this vertex, I don't have any reference point either on Y or X. So this comes, this is the, this is the type of scenario where tiny cat shines because here you can select both edges, right click, go into tiny cat and find your intersections there. It will remove the faces, but that's easy to fix. And as a result, we have a vertex at the exact location. I can repeat the same process here. Right click tiny CAD intersections. There we have two vertices. And with this, you can remove those vertices here, remove this one. And well, I need another vertex here. No problem. Select both edges, right click, go into tiny CAD intersect. And you have your vertex there. The best part of this too is, well, it's free. It's already in Blender. It's, it's quite old, to be honest. I think I have been using tiny CAD for ever since Blender 2.49, I guess, 2.5, not sure. I know it's uh, quite old. And there you go. You 
can now select four vertices, press F and start rebuilding your faces. This is just how useful this tool is if you want to start working with architectural modeling, drafting with Blender, and it's in Blender 4.0. Look how easy it is to find or to finish this type of drawing. And this is it. This is just a quick tutorial explaining uh, this uh, hidden feature of Blender, the tiny cat. Again, you can go into edit preferences and here you can enable the tiny cat. Whenever I have the opportunity or a project that needs some kind of modeling, drafting in Blender uh, related to architecture, especially when trying to make walls, this is a must have, you should leave it on all the time. I hope you like it. If you are looking into more tutorials related to architecture and design, please don't forget to subscribe. I see you next time.